consecutive Friday edition of the Now Morning Show, and we have featured some incredible women, and our next guest is another one. This one telling us about paintings in the Garden 5, the fundraiser that's happening on November 11th, and she joins us via Zoom as it's happening in New York. Here's Alicia Aberdeen jones Good morning, and welcome back to the Now Morning Show. <laughs> Good morning, and thank you so much for having me. A pleasure and a joy, especially since <laughs> this is your baby. You are the founder and co-owner of Alicia Aberdeen Art, so we know we're going to get beautiful visuals. But I want to ask, what is Paintings in the Gardens, and how did it get started? Okay, so Paintings in the Garden is indeed my baby. <laughs> um, it really, it came about... Um, out of a need to really showcase myself my way, <laughs> right? Um, I really wanted to showcase artwork in various levels, right? Mm. On various levels. And what I really wanted it to be is um, a, a space for artists of, you know, across genres, to come and showcase their work, but in a collaborative way. Yes. And always with a drive to facilitate or champion a charity. That is beautiful. So that's what Paintings in the Garden really is. And, and that's how it really first got started. And um, the name actually, Paintings in the Garden, was derived, well, one morning, I was trying to decide, well, what should I call this, this show in 2019 when we first started? And for some reason, I kept singing this favorite childhood hymn of mine called In the Garden. And it just dawned on me, why am I singing this hymn? And then I thought, In the Garden, paintings, it's perfect, right? So that's how the name came about. That's how the idea came about. And um, we've, we've really been developing it over the years so far. And so now we're in our fifth year mm -hmm. and we are very thrilled about that. Let's talk about that development a little bit because you mentioned that it's always for a cause. Tell me about this year's cause, the driving force behind the initiative and where any sorts of charitable efforts will be directed. Excellent. Okay, so this year, again, we are partnering with the Coalition for the Homeless in New York City. Um, and we are donating directly to them to facilitate or to help facilitate their frontline uh, purposes in, in, in their various missions. So, uh, you know, the, the, the homeless is always my core or base cause. And that stems from my experiences with my brother, Sheldon Sketch Artist, with who I know you will be familiar with, you should be familiar with, Sheldon Sketch Artist. Mm -hmm. um, and through uh, his experience with drug addiction and homelessness and the family dealing with it, I am always driven to that particular cause. Um, as a matter of fact, the cause this year in Trinidad uh, speaks directly to that and it's in Sheldon's honor we are donating to Serenity uh, Place Empowerment Rehab Center for Women. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're doing that is because I am really of the opinion that the facilitators, there needs to be some solid infrastructure for not just uh, uh, rehab the actual process of, of that detox, however long that is, but the post- Mm. detox and, and that support system and these without these people it, it would be virtually impossible so I mean they have brought Sheldon they have really with this um, type of support that Sheldon has had and I know not many people do have that kind of support it should be a lot more widely available and so I feel that this is particularly important Alicia, talking about support, this is a grand endeavor with a beautiful reason behind it. But you have to have support to be able to pull this off too, right? Absolutely. It is no small feat. <laughs> Tell so, me some of the persons that are partnering with you to make that possible then. I absolutely will. Um, so 
We are again in partnership with the Consul General of Trinidad and Tobago, and he, of course, helps us with our networking and outreach. Um, this year, for the second time, we have Caribbean Airlines. Okay. Without whom, I doubt I'd be able to, you know, <laughs> import the, the 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 art from home in whatever form, right? So this year we have Caribbean Airlines again. Thank you so much, Caribbean Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> also, we have um, our wine bar. The entire wine bar is being sponsored by a company called Sip NYC, and. Uh, it's a Black-owned company, and they uh, champion and facilitate uh, the sales and distributions and, and, and placement of Black-owned wine businesses, right? So we will have an array of wines at the uh, event, all sponsored through SIP NYC. Yes, without these sponsors, it would be very, very, very difficult to put on a show at this level for the ticket price that we're asking. So let's talk about that ticket asking. price. I mean, we do want people to come, so how much do they have to pay to do so? So the contribution is 99 US dollars. Mm -hmm. And when you purchase through the ticketing site, which is vuecy.com, B-I-E-W-C-Y.com, you're able to go to the uh, purchase ticket. You have an option to buy your ticket there. You'll get a ticketing fee of about $4. It will come out to one or four, three dollars mm -hmm. and something cents. And for those of you who can't actually grace us with your presence, you can hit that donate ticket instead. Ah, Choose nice. at least one and then, you know, edit the donation amount. All right, suit. sounds good. So, Alicia, before we wrap up, I want you to give the persons who, like you say, might have to click that donate option because we can't physically be there, just a little bit of a summary of what the show would actually look like. Tell us what we're going to see when we head on out on November 11th. Awesome. So, well, first thing you're going to see is beautiful art. You're going to walk into the Roulette Theatre in Brooklyn, New York, it's on Atlantic Avenue, 509 Atlantic Avenue, it's a historic uh, venue. They partner, they are uh, partners with uh, the YWCA. So even hosting at the venue is contributing to, of course, because that y YWC building houses um, mm -hmm. challenged women. Right. So as you walk into the beautiful theater, you will see lots of beautiful art. You will see jewelry by Janice Derrick, jewelry. You will see um, artisan uh, bed and home fragrance by Bavana NYC, by Tashari De Silva. She's Jamaican-American. You will um, then be treated to the entertainment segment of the evening where we will open with a dance piece by Winter's Dance Empire of another Black-owned school. And she's a really remarkable founder of this school. She started it at the age of 15. She's now 18, I believe. Okay? So they will, we will open with a dance production by Winter's Dance Empire. And then we will transition to the musical element where we will start with Tabla from Erin Hansen and Sitar from Indo Rao Chowdhury. Then we will move on to Mr. Showman himself, Dean Galston. Then we will have Ricardo Mendoza, Oof. Ricardo Stavon. And then we will have the ultimate queen of the stage, Miss Carol Addison. I cannot wait. Mm. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. I'm so jealous that I can't be in New York right now for this. But I know that our viewers will make every effort to at the very least donate as it's a beautiful event for a beautiful cause. Congratulations in advance, so Alicia. 
much. We would so appreciate that. And we're going to find a way to get you on the inside on the day. Don't worry. I like this Don't spirit, you worry man. about we'll it. We'll talk, we'll talk. <laughs> <laughs> best of luck and all the best that is on the 11th of November as we get ready for paintings in the garden, making certain that we display art in a beautiful way for a fantastic cause. Thanks again for joining us. The founder and co-owner, Alicia Aberdeen Art, joining us via Zoom. Have a good weekend. Thank you. My pleasure. Guys, we are taking a break. And when we come back, we're wrapping the show with an icon. You do not want to miss this one here on The Now Morning Show.